welcome back to another Real Talk Reaction. This one's for Doctor Who, Season 4, Episode Number 13. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. You know why. Tell a friend to tell all their friends. Come on over here. You know we got a bunch of stuff to watch. They definitely might find something they like. Let's go. Who is the new doctor? Who That's what we're going to find out right is now. Is it going to be? All right. A um, Could be me. A couple of comments from the last episode. Starting with Patrick, who says, So glad y'all like this. Yes, if you haven't seen the first three seasons, this wouldn't make much sense, and you wouldn't care as much. That's all I can say right now, but have fun in the next one. Okay. Appreciate it. Um, CJ comes through to say, I'm not a massive fan of Dalek stories, but I do love a good Davros story. You are right, he is from the classic series. Sarah Jane faced Davros in his first ever appearance in 1975. Whereas the Daleks are all about brute force and killing everything, Davros is actually a great foe for the Doctor, as he is extremely intelligent. Actually, he's a genius. An evil genius, but a genius nonetheless. I remember when this aired, the whole of UK was in shock over the regeneration. It caught us all off guard. The reason Rose is so upset is because she pretty much fell in love with this version of the Doctor. She was low-key in love with the ninth Doctor, but properly fell in love with Ten. The Doctor's face and personality will change, and she didn't get the chance to see and talk to the current one. Okay, so it does change. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Um, I was like, why is it that big of a deal? It's going to be, he's still him, um, but that makes more sense. Just to cl clarify, you mentioned two specials after the next episode. There's actually five of them. If you're watching on HBO Max, it has them in order. They are Christmas Special 2008, 2X Special 2009, and 2X Christmas Special 2009. Um, we, is that, we do watch it on HBO Max, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. So we should be good. Great comment, CJ. Um, then we have executive producer Jeremy, who says this was a great episode. When I was watching this, it was the first time I'd really seen a crossover this big, with so many characters from more than one show and characters coming back from the past all coming together like this. Uh, it being a while before Marvel or the Arrowverse did it. So yeah. it was crazy for me to see, and I loved every second of it. I can see yeah. that. Yeah. Like, I can totally see that. And I, I bet some of these other shows were like, we that was that big, we yeah. should do that. <clears throat> I also loved seeing Harriet Jones, former Prime Minister, back as well. It was great seeing her again, although tragic that she had to give her life to help save the planet. Yeah. Thanks to CJ for the comment above giving information about Davros. I was going to look into it to get more information about his earlier appearances, since I knew uh, a little from looking into it back when this first aired. But... Excuse me, not a lot since I've never seen the original series, but now, thanks to CJ, I don't have to. I was also going to mention that there is five specials before the next season. Yeah, thanks guys for pointing that out. Again, I love all the references from previous episodes that were building up to this, like the missing planets having been mentioned before in episodes like the Fires of Pompeii episode, and the missing bees they've been talking about a few times throughout the season. It's great that these refer references sometimes barely acknowledge comments or things that seem like they were just quick jokes, turn out to have significant meaning to the show. I've seen a few people who react to the show who don't get why Rose is sad. When I was watching the show at this time, from my experience, I thought the Doctor regenerating was sad, for one, because we got a different actor who and who knew if we would like them, but also because while the Doctor is still a Doctor, they are different with a different personality and way of being. So it's like saying goodbye to someone you cared about and saying hello to someone who is, while fundamentally deep down kind of the same, is actually quite quite different. Mm -hmm. And Rose is in love with this doctor. Great reaction. I'm glad you're both loving the show so much. I look forward to the finale. Yeah. Thank you guys for breaking down that, um, specifically about the sad part. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, then we have Says coming through to say awesome reaction as far as how to pronounce my username. Obviously, I looked ahead. Just call me Says. That's easier. J Rabbit, <coughs> I just have to say your hair is on point. You look great. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> A couple of points I want to touch on. Firstly, uh, Sarah Jane, she has indeed been through a regeneration. She was a companion of the third and after he regenerated the fourth Doctor. Secondly, Rose. Yes, she has seen the Doctor regenerate before, but as other comments mentioned, this is the version of the Doctor she has truly fallen in love with. And while his basic values and his brilliance stays the same when regenerating, a lot of his character traits do change. So, <coughs> I understand why it must be really scary for her to witness this now, after thinking she's finally made it back to her Doctor. That makes it really sad. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ. Um... Thirdly, as CJ has already touched upon, there are five specials after the season finale. I just want to list them by their episode titles in the right order as well. The Next Doctor, Planet of the Dead, The Waters of Mars, The End of Time Part 1, and The End of Time Part 2. 
By the way, something completely different that just came to my mind. You two watched the mini-sode Born Again back at the beginning of David Tennant's run before starting with his first episode, which was the Christmas special with the Sikorax. Uh, did you know there was also a mini-sode between the Series 3 finale and the Christmas special on the Titanic? It's called Time Crash, and it's set right between Martha leaving... Uh, and the Titanic crashing into the TARDIS. It should be available on YouTube. Maybe you'd fancy watching that at some point still. It's not, if not for the camera, then maybe just for yourself. It's honestly really fun. Anyway, that comment got out of hand. Sorry for that. So excited for the series finale. Who's going to emerge from that regeneration? We appreciate the comment. It says no uh, apologies needed. Yeah. All right, last comments from Jonathan, who says simply, end of an arrow, era, lol, cannot wait to see what's next. All right, and let's get to it. Let's get it cracking. All right. Time system the same place, but the Earth is gone. Exterminator! 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 He's dying, and you know what happens next. What do you mean? What happens next? I'm regenerated. Oh my gosh. Use it. Well, yeah, it burns up energy. It's half an hour between jumps. Now put down your guns. 
You what? If you carry the gun, they'll shoot you dead. Daleks, I surrender. All humans in this sector will be taken to the crucible. She's bloody mad. Yeah, but Mickey, up, Bob? if they've got the doctor, then they've got Rose. And us. We surrender. Now, Joseph's been the base code. I know how this teleport works. I think. But you just don't know. Come on out, Ben. Get us. Get us. Keep quiet. I'm in there with you, and they gave me the Oscar Hagen key. I've got to do my job. I'm sorry. Martha, what's an Oscar Hagen key? Tell me. What does it do? Love you. There's a massive Dalek ship at the center of the planet. I'm calling it the Crucible. I guess that's our destination. You said these planets were like an engine, but what for? Rose, you've been in a parallel world. That world's running ahead of this universe. You've seen the future. What was it? It's the darkness. The stars were going out. One by one. We looked up in the sky and they were just dying. Basically, we've been building this, um, this travel machine, this, this, uh, Dimension cannon, so I can... Well, so I can... <laughs> so I can come back. Mm. Shut up. Anyway, <laughs> suddenly it started to work. And the dimensions started to collapse. Not just in our world, not just in yours, but the whole of reality in the void was dead. Something is destroying everything. In that parallel world. You said something about me. The dimension cannon could measure timelines and it's... It's weird on her, but they all seem to converge on you. But why me? I mean, what have I ever done? I'm a temp from Chiswick. Quit saying that, girl. What's that on the crucible? On the board? You've got extrapolated shielding. Last time we fought the Daleks, they were scavengers and hybrids and mad. But this is a fully fledged Dalek empire at the height of its power. Experts are fighting Taluses, they ain't doing anything. Right now, that wooden door is just wood. What about your dimension jump? I need to listen to the Phoenix now, I'm not leaving. What about your teleport? Went down with the power loss.
just a lot of yellow.
rough. Oi! 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 Oh my god, it's like her? It's like part of her? <laughs> that be your voice, that's all. Is it? Did I? No. Oh, you are kidding me. No way. One heart. Oh, one heart. This body. I've got only one heart.
So let that doctor do it, and not our doctor. So many doctors. Let him be the butcher.
Her husband did some things, man. Her husband turned to home. Yes, she Yeah, but all the satellites should be fucking crashing. You can't overthink it, man. Okay. Okay. It is a science show. I'm just going to have a science show. You know, you act like such a lonely man. But if you, you've got the biggest family on Earth. It's a long story. And thank you. Yeah, I'm fine. Are you all right? No, no. I'm going to miss you more than anyone. What do you mean? Doctor's going to take us home, isn't he? And that's the point. Yeah, because he ain't, he ain't, uh, ain't our. That's the one from the rebel camp, right? Get rid of that Oster Hagen thing. Me? Save the world one more time. Consider it done. You know, I'm not sure about you these days. Maybe there's something else you could be doing. Let's get a cool work from Hey, okay, there you go. Let's get us some more shit. I can work out what happens next. Guess we lost the age. Hey, I had a good time in that part of the world, but my grandpa passed away. That's a peaceful. You can go on and talk to her too. There's nothing there for me now. Certainly not right. What do you do? Anything. Brand new life. Just you watch. Right here they hire you to talk to her. Hey, you two! Yeah, see, you're gonna go on. I got rid of you. Oh, that'd be a good team. Yeah! I'd be okay with that. It's time for one last trip. Dalek like Ulf Stranden. Better known as. We saved the universe, but at a cost. And the cost is him. He destroyed the Daleks, he committed genocide. He's too dangerous to be left on his own. You made me! Exactly, you were born in battle, full of blood and anger and revenge. Remind you of someone? That's me, when we first met. Ugh, makes me want to cry! I want to get there. Now you can do the same for him. But he's not you. He needs you. That's very me. But it's better than that, though. Don't you see what he's trying to give you? Tell her, go on. I look like him, I think like him. Same memories, same thoughts, same everything. And I got one heart. Except I've only got one heart. Which means? I'm human. I'm part human. Specifically the aging part. I'll grow old and never regenerate. I've only got one life. Where's Tyler? I could spend it with you. Do <laughs> you want? Do you want? You could grow old at the same time as me. Together. I mean, unfortunately, yes. Yeah. The thing is, though, they ain't never lit again. It's gonna be a whole different Shut thing. up, babe. Do what you gotta do it. No, this reality is seeding itself off. Forever. But it's still not right. Because the doctor's still you. And I'm him. Alright. Both of you, ask me this. When I last 
fasted on this beach on the worst day of my life. What was the last thing he said to me? Go on, say it. I said Rose Tyler. Yeah, and how was that sentence going to end? Does it need saying? You need doctor? What was the end of that sentence? and superseding the binary, 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 I'm fine. Nah, never mind Phil Spoon. You know what I'd like to meet? Charlie Chaplin. I'm in great Charlie Chaplin. Charlie Chaplin. Charlie Chaplin. Charlie Chester. Charlie Brown. No, he's fiction. Friction, fiction, fixing, mixing, mixing, Brixton. Oh, he probably already knew that, baby. Oh, my God. Do you know what's happening? Yeah. There's never been a human time old meta crisis before now. And you know why? Because there can't be. I want Frank. Look at me. Donna, look at me. I was gonna be with you. Forever. She'll get better now. I had to wipe her mind completely. Oh, Every trace of me or the TARDIS, anything we did together, anywhere we went, had to go. All those wonderful things she did. I know. That's fucking hard. But that version of Donna is dead. Because if she remembers just for a second, she'll burn up. You can never tell her. You can't mention me or any of it. For the rest of her life. The whole world's talking about it. We travelled across space. It'll just be a story. 
I'm not going to know what story where she missed the ball again. But she was better with you. Don't say that. No, she was. Yes, she knew that she I was better. I just wanted to know there were worlds out there. Safe in the sky because of her. Then there are people living in the night. And singing songs of Donna Noble. A thousand million light years away. They will never forget her. Well, she can never remember. And for one moment. One shining moment. She was the most important woman in the whole way, you know. Goddamn. She still is. She's my daughter. Then maybe you should tell her that once again. Right. I was asleep on my bed in my clothes like a flipping kid. What do you make me do that for? Don't let me, Donna. John Smith. <laughs> Mr. Smith was just leaving. My phone's gone mad. 32 texts. Venus gone barmy. She's saying planets in the sky. What have I missed now? Nice to meet you. Wait, As I said, I think you should go. Dumbo. That's why it's too one large you get to hand the old big ship and see that little man you never go to. <laughs> yes, you do. I'll see ya. Donna. I was just going. Yeah, see ya. I'll tell you what though, you're wasting your time with that one. Mm. Because Susie May, she went on that dating site and she saw him. No, 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 listen, listen, this is important. Susie right, she May would lie. Bit. Not she like she would have had her in. No, she didn't want that. Yeah. But yeah, she would have died otherwise. You'll have quite a bit of this. Butch of my eyes. Nice like disturbance. Just a little part. Boom does. Probably Wilfred. I'm a doctor. Yeah, Wilfred. What about you now? Who have you got? I mean, all those friends of yours. Who have you got? They've all got someone else. Still that's fine. I'm fine. I'll watch out for you, sir. You can't ever tell her. No, no. But every night, Doctor, when you get stuck and the stars come out, I'll look up. On our behalf, I'll look up at the sky. I'll think of you. Thank you. finale of Doctor Who. Good twist. Um, you guys all had us kind of going thinking we was going to get a new Doctor, which we kind of did, but we still kept our same Doctor that we had this whole run right here. And what an amazing, this is the probably the best one of all that I've seen, um, you know, just with everything going on together in the episode. Everybody from all the damn genres and, and that we remember. And kudos to you guys for sticking it through. Even when I went to sleep. <laughs> even when I was bored. That's what I was going to say. Even when I was like, I don't know what we watching over here these first couple of episodes in, in the season. It all was worth it to get to. You had to. You literally had to. 
start from there to get because you none of this would have made sense at all or made any it you wouldn't care you wouldn't even give a shit or none of it wouldn't have made sense okay so i thank you guys for that because now i, I feel like i have earned it i've earned a good I've episode earned a good, <laughs> this right here yeah. has earned it like okay got it everything all came back into the fold even throwing a torch wood in there that somebody sponsored a couple of times Okay, it just made it all make sense to me now that what we just watched right here, David Tennant, come on, bro. I mean, how you going to top that? I, I see what y'all saying, right? Like, you know, I'm just like, just be the doctor the whole time, right? Just every season, just be the doctor, right? Because I cannot imagine now. Liking somebody else. Getting another doctor, yeah. Doing we, and we only have did. two to compare to, and I feel like, to be fair, they're drastic. Like, they're David definitely Tennant different. is just like... Super this is the one. I mean, that could be another one, you yeah. know. But you know, for what we just seen with this one, it, it look the the rose thing too. I like how they wrote that in to give her a happy ending because the way she went out, that was savage. That was savage and just like like Barb on on Stranger Things, right? Mm -hmm. No justice. Rose got justice on here, right? She got her own doctor with one heart who can grow old. Who can grow old? Can't who's who? Bet, bet, she's good now, right? She got good. Um, Donna did not see that coming. That that's what almost choked me up right there, cause I didn't see that one coming. I I was happy for Donna. I thought she, you know, she had Time Lord now, have that. So now we about to have some adventures with her being super smart with the Doctor. Da boom, boom, boom. It would have been like funny and good at the same time, but no. And it's so fucking good that the Doctor realized that. Now he already know that, right? He's just like. And we kind That's of why we, has never like been we could have kind of thought about that if we were because I remember I remember I was talking about how Rose took the 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 thing yeah. and almost like died too like she had to get rid of it otherwise she would have died too oh she got rid of I forgot about that part that's what you were trying to yeah, say yeah 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 okay but that absorbed it all then and so I like how the doctor was just standing there like you ain't about to like what I'm about to tell you right now what's gonna happen but it's gotta happen right because if not you're gonna die. And then talking to the parents, I mean, the grandparents there is just like, she can never know if she does. Or blah, blah. So, I mean, that is just sad. It is just very sad, but very, very well earned for me for this episode and for this whole ride that I've been through. All of that makes sense now. So now we have to get a new companion once we start up, right? This is done this season. So we got, we're going to go to the specials, which maybe Donna and everybody will still be there. But it worked. I love I mean, Donna having, won't be there. Well, Donna might not be. I mean, I don't know what they're going to do in the specials, right? It could be just... It usually sets up the next season, so... But we got five, so I mean, I don't... Okay, maybe we're going to take five and set up a new companion. We'll see. But all the companions that came before I me, mean, you know, it was all good. Um, I think the other two... Um, um, Martha? Uh, Martha and... and um, Sarah? The other guy. The Mickey? black guy, Mickey. Martha and Mickey, I think they might be going to Torchwood, which will be great. That will be a good addition to have over there. So I just like how they wrapped all that up at the end right here, too, and all the callbacks. And, man, it just it, it, it felt really good to see the battle that happened with the dialects, the, 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 the betrayal that happened over there. And we just won on that thing because we had three doctors working on this shit at the same time. So it, it, it was just fantastically done. Um, uh, kudos to everybody who knew we just had to stick it through. And I just feel like I, I, I won a game. I, I won something. Like, I, I, I achieved, achieved Yeah. And I did. So thank you guys for getting me there. It was it was well worth it. Um, very, very... Um, um, Satisfying? Satisfying. That's the word I'm looking for right there. Thank you, babe. And that's it. I can't wait to see what we got next. Yeah, so I'll echo some of the similar things. Um, again, I kudos to the community for not spoiling anything along None. the way. Like, not saying when the good stuff would happen. Not like being not even just be like just take it just take every yep. episode yep. <laughs> we don't care if he falls yeah. asleep yeah. we don't care if some Jay Rabbit was like there. we don't, we don't care if they jokes. say it's corny yeah. say it's corny yeah. do it you're do gonna it. need it do it you're gonna need do it, it. you think it's late yeah think um, it's because legitimately and I, I heard comments on Facebook and things like that like y'all should just skip to season five is like a, a continuous comment but Damn. like 
who I can use how, right buy. like that's insane <laughs> so um just kudos again to our community here on patreon specifically as far as not spoiling a single thing and being relentless with your votes be like you take every episode once a week you take it because it's gonna be worth it when you get to where we're going and it was um this was probably one of my favorite episodes just because of everything that was put into it there's yeah. no way to possibly talk about it all but the and first half dumbo. as far as like again the crossover was so well executed and now bringing mickey and jackie into it as well which i wasn't expecting i didn't even think that i wanted and then they were there and i was like yes they're missing yeah, yeah. they were missing this whole time so that was um that was really cool all the science things as far as like uh, how they brought the Earth back, and all like all the exaggerated cool things that Doctor Who can do from a scientific uh, science perspective was really cool. It had my favorite music all the way through too. I was like in Goosey's the entire time, um, but I was not expecting anything about how it yeah. ended, and yeah. it destroyed me. It completely destroyed me. And again, the fact that you guys validated our thoughts about the regeneration so we're like yeah we're right it's about to happen mm -hmm. and then it was completely different and you guys didn't even have an inkling of a spoiler in your comments like yeah, Whoa, yeah. so good job so, so good job um so i wasn't expecting that um i can't talk too much more about the actual end because i think i'm gonna lose it um but i loved seeing donna with the the the, the doctor mindset i thought I thought both of them in that scene specifically, David Tennant and Donna, when David uh, had some of Donna's personality because he has, he has part of her human yeah, and he was yeah. doing her characteristics. I was like, that's fucking incredible. Yeah. And then when Donna got activated because she got uh, hit by the the electricity and she was doing some of his, I just yeah. it was so it was so cool. Yeah. It was so cool and so well acted. And I believed it a thousand percent. Like, I was like, this is actually happening. Um, so kudos again to the acting. It was, like, freaking stellar. It was so good. Um, and then as far as getting Rose, um, <laughs> her doctor, in a way, and the fact that he's the one that whispered that I love you is so sweet. And then you see the doctor, our doctor's face be like, that could be him and yeah. he's going to miss out. And he, again, doesn't get love. Ah, it's yeah. so heartbreaking. Um, and I cannot talk about Donna, um, but I really appreciate that she was she was an incredible companion, and I did not expect to like her, and you guys know that. So like, whew, what a journey! Can't wait to see what we have next, yeah. and I'm done because I'm losing it. I'm yeah. done. <laughs> so hey, look, good job again, community. Y'all, y'all done got us right once again. All right, well, thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk reaction for Doctor Who. <sighs> Season 4, episode number 13, the season finale. And until next time, peace.